Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Friday, July 13. Cabinet members are to undergo good governance training and practices. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says this is to ensure that ministers are clear on their roles in providing proper oversight to government bodies under their control. Our government must be strong. Our government must stand visibly and demonstrably in support of transparency, of good governance, with a firm stance against corruption. The Prime Minister was speaking at Thursday's groundbreaking for the development of 212 serviced lots at Windsor Hills in Trelawney. 64 of the lots are being allocated to Sugar Company of Jamaica Holdings Limited by way of a land swap, while the others are being sold through the National Housing Trust. Prime Minister Holness used the groundbreaking to announce that the NHT was on track to deliver 23,354 housing solutions by 2021, exceeding the 22,000 target it had set. 650 high school students across the island are to benefit from a $100 million hospitality and tourism management program. The program will be rolled out in 30 high schools in September, with participating students drawn from grades 11, 12, and 13. The students will undergo two-year training offered through the American Hotel and Lodging Educational Institute. The Education and Tourism Ministry signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Wednesday to facilitate the program. Minister Royal Reed says the program is timely and consistent with plans to ensure every member of the society is trained and employable. We have articulated what we call the K-13 to strategy, which is to ensure that the education system has reached right into the womb. So we talk about from conception to age 18. Minister Edmund Bartlett says the program will also support the tourism sector by providing a fully trained and highly efficient workforce. 60% of the value of the visitor's experience in a destination is service. And so we must build our capacity to offer come to mind service, what I call opinionated service. 30 local teachers will be delivering the program content, but they will first be trained and certified next month by the American Hotel and Lodging Educational Institute. The House of Representatives passed the Ballast Water Management Bill on Tuesday to protect the island's aquatic environment. It bars ships entering Jamaica from carrying foreign aquatic species and diseases into the island's waters. Transport and Mining Minister Robert Montague piloted the legislation, which he says will ensure that ships discard their ballast water in compliance with international standards. In Jamaica, Mr. Speaker, the introduction of Asian green mussels found in the Kingston Harbour has been identified by the University of the West Indies as having been introduced into Jamaican waters via ballast water. Having regard to Jamaica's container transshipment activities, because, Mr. Speaker, Jamaica gets approximately 2,400 ship calls per year, and that is increasing. And each time a ship comes, you are at risk of being contaminated. Ballast water is water carried in the ballast tanks of ships to improve balance. The water is taken up or discharged when cargo is unloaded or loaded, and when ships take on ballast water, plants and animals that live in the ocean are also taken up. Government will be undertaking a major cleanup project to minimize the effects of flooding during periods of heavy rainfall. $50 million has been budgeted for the island-wide program. Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie says the cleanup exercise will commence soon. In critical areas of the country that is prone to flooding and other such areas of concern. In the meantime, he says road improvement work has started in the community of Douglas Castle, St. Anne. The $35 million project is to alleviate a recurrence of flooding in the area, which was submerged last year after a few days of heavy rainfall. At this week's post-cabinet briefing, it was also revealed that a $722 million contract has been awarded to Surrey Paving and Aggregate Company for the redevelopment of Hampden Wharf Phase 1 in Falmouth, Trelawney. Information Minister Senator Royal Reed says it's being financed by the Tourism Enhancement Fund. The project includes the establishment of an artisan village that will accommodate 30 shops on 540 square meters of land owned by the Port Authority of Jamaica. The port will also be extended and storyboards erected, while a rich mix of retail and local eateries will be incorporated. And finally, 600 teachers will receive mathematics training from Book Merchant Limited from August 21 to 23. 
The training workshops is being conducted in partnership with the Jamaica Teaching Council and Shortwood Teachers College. The teachers will be trained by local math specialist and lead prime mathematics specialist from Singapore. And the reason why we are doing it is because we discovered through Scholastic in 2015 a math program that we thought would really um, assist our Jamaican teachers and students to do math much better. Book Merchants CEO was speaking at a JIS think tank on Wednesday. The workshop is being delivered as part of the Scholastic Prime Mathematics program. It will feature a compilation of the best mathematics practices of Singapore, Hong Kong and the Republic of Korea, which are the top performing countries in this subject. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching.